Today, our topic is index notation. It is a more precise method of expressing the factors of a number. For example, factors of 12 are 2 into 2 into 3. We can write these factors as 12 equals to 2 raised to power 2 into 3. Now, as you can see that 2 is repeating 2 times. So, you can write 2 raised to power 2 also. And here we have 3 only one time. So, you will write 3 as it is. This form is called the index form notation. Now, similarly, the next number is 40. Its factors can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. And we can find these factors by prime factorization method. So, in index form, we can write it as 40 equals to 2 raised to power 3. And 5 as it is. As you can see that 2 is repeating 3 times. So, you can write this number 2 raised to power 3. Similarly, you can see here 5 is repeating only one time. So, you will take 5 as it is. So, this form is called the index notation. Actually, you are writing your factors in its index form or you can say in its power form. We are writing all the numbers in its power. For example, here 2 is repeating 3 times. So, we have written 2 raised to power 3. Here 5 raised to power 1. You can see 5 has only one power. So, you will write 5 as it is. Now, similarly, the next number is 72. Using prime factorization, you can find the factors of 72 by prime factorization. So, 72 equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. And in index form, we can write it as 72 equals to 2 raised to power 3. into 3 raised to power 2. Now, you can see 2 is repeating 3 times. So, you can write 2 raised to power 3. And here, 3 is repeating 2 times. So, you can write it as 3 raised to power 2. So, similarly, you can find the index notation form of the following questions. For example, exercise 1b and question number 1 a part seven into seven. 
7 into 7 and in index form we can write it as 7 raised to power 2 similarly 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 it can be written as 2 raised to power 2 and 5 raised to power 2 because here 2 is repeating 2 times and 5 is repeating 2 times so in index form you can write it as 2 raised to power 2 and 5 raised to power 2 similarly in C part of question number 1 3 into 7 into 7 into 7 in index form we can write it as 3 into 7 raised to power 3 e part Two into two into thirteen into thirteen into thirty one into two. In index form, we can write it as two is repeating two times here. Sorry, three times here. So you will write here two raised to power three and thirteen is repeating two times. So you will write it as thirteen raised to power two. And 31 as it is. Now F part. This is the last part of exercise 1B. 5 into 5 into 5 into 19 into 29 into 19 into 23 into 29. Now in index form, again you can see here 5 is repeating 3 times, so you can write it as 5 raised to power 3. And 19 is repeating 2 times here, so we can write it as 19 raised to power 2. And 29 is repeating 2 times, so you can write it as 29 raised to power 2 and 23 as it is so this is the index form which is the way of expressing the factors of a number thank you